Okay, hey everyone, this is Derek J, and it is July 8th, 2014. It is a Tuesday evening, 9 p.m., and I just got a call from Rich Paul, who is in the Cheshire County House of Corrections, otherwise known as the Keen Spiritual Retreat. He's on the phone while Free Talk Live is on in the background, so I apologize for any cross-chat, cross but uh, here he is, the man himself. How are you doing, Rich? And you've, you've got a hearing coming up this week on Thursday. It's going to be for your violation of probation hearing. We think it's at 1.30 p.m. on Thursday at the Cheshire County Superior Court. And many activists will be in attendance. I'll be there filming. Do you have any message for uh, people who have been donating and uh, people who are following along what's been going on? Excellent. Um, and any message for people who are uh, looking forward to your trial, uh, the the hearing. Um, any other thoughts? Anything at all? How how are you holding up in jail? Um, well, I'm, I'm holding up pretty well. Um, you know, my uh, my my chief emotion in here is I'm very irritated, especially after uh, today my attorney came in and I watched the video of the night that I got arrested for with him and we counted uh, Doyle O'Meara's thug committed crime after crime after crime disorderly conduct criminal threatening left by unauthorized taking riot, assault um, and you know these were real crimes with victims but yet the only person being uh, prosecuted is me for having a stick in my hand while defending myself. And for the record, I didn't hit anybody with the stick, I just held it. Um, so I am just infuriated by the cover up of the crimes of Dory O'Meara's thugs. And I say Dory O'Meara's thugs because all of them apparently uh, worked at either the poorhouse or Pedraza's, both of which are owned by Doria Mira. Uh, and so these are her thugs, and uh, they continue to work there. Um, so, and the other thing that I noticed is that one of the thugs who attacked us that night appears to be Country Boy, the same guy who came back the following day and broke Yankee's back. Uh, and so he also committed, although it's not on this video, an attempted murder for which he's not being prosecuted. So the, the cover-up and the depth of corruption in this keen government is absolutely disgusting to me that the one person they're prosecuting for this is one of the victims, and they're letting all of the perpetrators slide. Um, so but I'm holding up well. I, according to, the, uh, to my attorney, the self That's right. Well, I really appreciate you sharing all that with uh, all of us, Rich, and I appreciate your strength, and I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. I hope everything goes well. Any other last thoughts before I end the recording? I'll stay on the line with you. Um, not really, except uh, if there are going to be journalists out there, um, I would love it if people were asking John Webb, the prosecutor, why were you prosecuting the victim and ignoring the perpetrators of these crimes? Yeah, I, I agree. 
Hey, uh, Rich's fundraiser can be found at GoFundMe.com slash GoRichPaul. You can donate uh, in PayPal, I think they take credit cards, and of course Bitcoin is uh, another great way to send donations. I've been able to put money on Rich's commissary that he's used to write letters and uh, get stamps so that he can write back to people who write to him for free at mailtojail.com. So if you have a letter or a message that you want to send to Rich, don't wait. Do it now. Go to mailtojail.com and they will print out the letter. Oh wow, okay, so th this is this is news to me because just a few days ago I saw a blog post on freekeen.com that was um, posted by Jay from mailtojail.com. So you're saying it's no more? Um, that's according to a letter that I received today. It's probably a good idea to convert, confirm with Jay. Um, but he said in the letter I, I received that the mail to activist uh, function had been Okay, well, if people can write to Rich directly by mailing him at the Cheshire County Department of Corrections, uh, I believe that's 425 Marlborough Street, Keene, New Hampshire, 03431. And uh, you can... It's actually 825. 825. Thank you, Rich. So 825 Marlborough Road. Okay, well, I appreciate that, Rich. Uh, Rich's fundraiser, once again, is at gofundme.com slash gorichpaul.